My name is Eric Yonker. I've been with Greenmark for seven years and I'm a service tech. For demonstration today, we're gonna use a 712 FC, which is a folding corn head. We're gonna go over some initial checks today. Starting with looking at the snouts of the corn head. This has got 12, I've got some of them raised up for demonstration purposes, but over here we have one that is bent down. Uh, you want to look to make sure they're level to start out with before you get into calibrations or anything else. There are some things to look forward or look at. With these, there is some adjustment pieces and some jam nuts on the 700 series corn heads to adjust the height of the tip of the snout. Uh, but before I would recommend looking at that, I would look at your frame structure. The, the row unit structures I have seen bent and twisted to the side, which will uh, affect the level of your snouts. Also, when your snouts are squared away, but if you're running header height sensors, you've got the springs, you've got the, the drag bar, and you've got the sensor, which is located up here. Also, there's harnessing that runs all the way through the snouts that go down underneath the, the head. Uh, usually, Mice chew the ends up and corn stalks are pretty rough on those harnesses also. So you want to verify those are all working, or all intact before you go to the field. Moving on to checking our gearbox oil levels. When you do that, first and foremost, you want to have your header attached to the combine in the full raised position with a safety stop installed. Once that is in place, you can proceed. We're going to start with the row unit gearbox. Uh, the 700 series were running gear oil in the gearboxes. Uh, earlier headers, 600 and older, they'll run corn head grease in those headers. Be sure to check your owner's manual and verify what your corn head has in it before you service. This one for demonstration purposes, there is a dipstick that will give us an indication of our oil level. This is a little off because we're not in the correct position. If you are servicing and changing the oil in the gearboxes, there's a drain on the bottom. Now with the earlier ones, there is a grease circ on the bottom that you will pump the corn head grease in using a grease gun. When uh, you pull this plug out on the earlier models, grease will pump out through that hole. When the grease pumps out through that hole, you know your gear, gearbox is full. All right, go, moving on to the side of the header, the side gearbox, there's one on each side. They'll drive your row units and your auger. Uh, like I said earlier, you want your header all the way up with the safety stop installed. Uh, you've got your uh, level plug right down here. Um, I usually take this plate off to fill it, just goes a lot faster. Um, to, there's no drain plug on it. If you're changing the oil, you'll have to unbolt it and just let the oil drain out the bottom. There are options when you're changing the oil in your corn head for different gear oil, uh, synthetic and mineral. On the chain cases on the side, it's not as big of a deal uh, to run mineral oil versus synthetic, uh, but your row units, I would strongly recommend running synthetic to help reduce heat and wear. When servicing the gearboxes on the combine, also, there are slip clutches underneath each row unit. Look just like this. On the 700 series corn head, they have grease cirques located in multiple spots for ease of greasing. They recommend no more than 10 pumps per slip clutch, but be sure to re reference your owner's manual for your specific header.